Hi, it's Logan from Sleepopolis.com, and today we're going to take a look at Yoga Bed. Yoga Bed is a bed in a box company shipping a foam mattress directly to your door, and I'm excited to take a look at what they've come up with. First, let's take a look at the construction of the mattress, starting with the cover. It's a cotton polyester blend. It's very thin, so it's pretty breathable. As you can see, it stretches right back. Uh, another special thing about the cover is that it fully unzips and it's removable for cleaning. Now let's take a look at the layers. The yoga bed is made of four foam layers totaling 10 inches in height. The top layer is one inch of yoga bed's response foam. It's a type of poly foam. See it responds pretty quickly to pressure. Soft for some comfort, uh, but it responds quickly, so it's going to have some bounce so you don't feel stuck in the mattress. This next layer is two inches of gel memory foam. The regular memory foams can have a trouble with trapping heat, but the gel memory foam does a pretty good job of temperature regulation. So this is going to not only provide temperature regulation, uh, but body contouring, as well as some pressure relief. Let's see how slowly that responds to pressure. Below that, we have five inches of high-density polyfoam. This is going to be the support layer of the mattress. It's going to support not only the comfort layers above, but also the sleeper so you don't fall straight through the mattress. Finally, at the bottom, we have the foundational base of the mattress. It's another high-density polyfoam. It's going to give the mattress some shape and, again, support the layers above it. Now that we've seen what makes up a yoga bed, it's time to get an idea for the firmness and feel of the mattress. As you press into the mattress, there's an initial firmness to it. As you get through that to the memory foam, there's some give, it contours to your body a bit. However, as you release the pressure, you can feel it respond, that top layer of response foam regains its shape really quickly. Now I'm going to lie down on the mattress. Starting my back. You know, the yoga bed's doing a good job of filling in that space beneath my lower back. It's important if you're a back sleeper. I definitely feel like I'm on top of the mattress more so than in it. Remember that top layer of response foam above the memory foam? So it keeps you from feeling stuck. You can move around real easy, change positions. When I roll onto my side, we get further through that response foam into the memory foam layers. Uh, and memory foam is really good for pressure relief, which can be important for side sleepers who often have issues with pressure points forming at their shoulders and their hips. We're going to get further into pressure points a little later in the review, but just something to keep in mind. Now onto my stomach. You know, I don't feel any pressure in my chest, so it's pretty easy to breathe here. Um, my hips don't feel like they're sinking into the mattress, keeping me uh, in line. It's keeping my back in line, so that's good. Um, so it, to me, this does have a medium firmness hedging towards a little firmer mattress, uh, which is good for stomach sleepers. Um, but everyone can feel firmness a little bit differently on a mattress because of different sizes and weight distributions. So for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. Uh, but for varying opinions on the firmness of the mattress and a little more detail, be sure to check out our written review at sleepopolis.com. Pressure relief can be an incredibly important aspect of a mattress. Rather than just describe the feel of the mattress and to give you a visual representation of where pressure points may arise when lying on the yoga bed, we've laid out this pressure map and I'm going to lay down on it in a couple different positions. You'll see the results ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. Starting on my back. Rolling onto my side. Finally, on my stomach. If you're going to share your bed with a partner, the ability of the mattress to isolate motion can be incredibly important. To test this, 
we set up a seismometer on one side of the mattress where someone might be laying, and on the other side of the mattress, we're going to drop this 10-pound steel ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches to simulate someone tossing and turning in the middle of the night or getting into and out of bed. We're going to see how much disturbance is felt on the other side of the mattress. First, the drop from 4 inches. Now from 8 inches. Finally, from 12 inches. For many people buying a mattress, they'll want to know if they're going to sit on top of or sink into the mattress. To test this, we've set up our sinkage test in which we use four different balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts and check how far into the mattress they sink. First up, we have our six pound ball. It's filled with sand. It's the lightest ball we used during this test. We found that it sinks into the yoga bed just over an inch. Next up in the sinkage test, we have our 8-pound ball. It again simulates a lighter body part, and we found that it sinks into the mattress of about an inch and a half. Next up in the sinkage test, we have our 10-pound steel ball. It's the densest ball we used during this test. We found that it sinks into the mattress 2 inches. And finally, we have our 50-pound medicine ball. It's the heaviest ball we used during the sinkage test. We found that it sinks into the yoga bed 4 and a half inches. If you're going to be sharing your bed and need to use the entire surface area of the mattress, edge support can be incredibly important. You don't want to feel like you're going to roll out of bed in the middle of the night. Now when I'm near the side of the yoga bed, I feel pretty well supported from the center of the mattress to the side. I can roll around and change positions without feeling like I'm compressing this too much and going to roll out of bed. Even on my side, if I hang off a little bit, Start to see a little compression, but I don't feel like I'm going to slide right out of bed here. When I'm sitting up on the side of the bed, think maybe you're putting your shoes on in the morning or getting ready for bed at night. We do see some compression in this position, all my weights over one area. It's pretty common among foam mattresses and it might not be the most important position to you, uh, but it's something to think about. Just to give you some basic information on yoga beds, there's a 101 night comfort trial a 10-year warranty, shipping is free to the continent of the United States, and every mattress comes with free pillows. Now who do you think this mattress would be a good fit for? So if you're looking for a mattress that sleeps a bit cooler, I found the thin cover to be pretty breathable and the gel memory foam to do a good job of temperature regulation. Also, if you sleep in multiple positions, Yoga Beds does a good job of allowing you to change positions and adjust while you're sleeping. And finally, if you're looking for that memory foam feel, but don't want to feel like you're getting stuck in the mattress, that top layer of response foam over the memory foam does a good job of making sure you don't feel like you're sinking too far into the mattress. That's it for the review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions regarding the mattress or the review, please leave a note below. And don't forget to read our written review at sleepopolis.com. Have a nice day.